What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications, and then go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And today, we got to call out some hypocrisy, man. Y'all know every now and then we got to do one of these videos where we point out the fake, man. I don't know if y'all know nothing about that Simply Fruit Punch. Bruh, that shit's so good. But anyway, man, so recently, Tim Bradley did an interview. He called Earl Spence Jr. a boy. <laughs> if you're an American, you a black man in America in, in particular, you know the connotations behind using the word boy when referring to a black man, as does Tim Bradley. But I'm making this video because... I the selective outrage of people, man, and, and and just the way that people get all gung-ho when it's their favorite fighter, but then when it's not their favorite fighter, then all of a sudden, they don't have nothing to say. They don't care. It doesn't matter to them. A lot of y'all is just fake, man, and, and, and it just shows the more and more that we, 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 we build our channel, the more and more that we put in the work and pay attention to what fight fans are saying and how people are moving, brother. The, the the real is getting separated from the fake each and every day here on this platform, and just in boxing in general. So this is what Tim Bradley had to say, man. This is what Tim Bradley had to say. He says, "Uh, Earl Spence is running from Crawford. He's running like a son of a gun. He's getting the hell out of Dodge, out of the way. That's the only fight that you said you wanted." That's the fight that you said that you were going to deliver to the fans after you won the three titles. It's been a long time. You straight up lied, and now you're going to get caught up for it, not just by me, but by the fans as well, because Crawford just fought, and now he's going to come back and have a fight. How in the hell are you going to go up to 154 and then come back down to face Crawford? Isn't one of your brothers that is in camp with you at 154 as well? You're just going up there because Thurman can't make the weight. Or is it that you can't make the weight? I don't know what it is. Maybe both of y'all can't make the weight. We've been waiting on Crawford and Spence all along. Everybody has been saying it's top rank's fault. Oh, top rank, you signed with the wrong promoter, um, giving hell to Crawford. Crawford came up and said in an interview saying, I had the money for us. I had the money secured. Obviously, Al Heyman is in total control of Earl Spence. Crawford is his own boss. But he had the money to pay $20 million and Spence didn't. He didn't take it because he can't move unless Al Heyman says, Hey, boy, we ain't doing that. We're going to get to the content of what Tim Bradley actually had to say in a minute. Right? But I just want to point out that we see the fake over here. The same people that were so mad at a certain segment of fight fans. And I disagree with this term. That's why I don't use it. You only going to hear me say it on this video. Not in reference to Terrence Crawford, but because this is what people called him. You had a lot of people that would call Terrence Crawford top rank Toby. Referring to Terrence Crawford as some sort of slave or some sort of um, you know. Basically, he just he 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 Bob Aaron whooping boy. Let, let's put it like that. You were you would have some people refer to him as top rank Toby. People were pissed off about that shit. Oh, man, like, he's just disrespecting another black man. He doing this, he doing that. Y'all can't disrespect him like that. But then you hear Tim Bradley call another black man a boy, and you got nothing to say about it. You hear him making fun of another black man calling another black man a boy, but you don't care because it's Earl Spencer. You don't like Earl Spencer. Like, Y'all fraudulent, man. You're fake, homie. You, you just, you're all the way out of bounds, and you're all the way wrong. Me? You won't hear me calling nobody a boy. You ain't never heard me call Terrence Crawford no damn top rank Toby because we don't do that shit over here. We thorough. We solid. We stand on firm ground. But a lot of y'all with this selective ass outrage 
this this selective ass anger. The only reason it made you mad is because people were saying it about your favorite fighter. If they ain't talking about your favorite fighter, you don't give a damn what racial innuendos, what racial terms, what charge stereotypical terms anybody use, as long as they ain't talking about your favorite fighter. If they talking about your favorite fighter, then you a civil rights activist. You Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, Al Sharpton out this mug, man. But if they ain't talking about your favorite fighter, then you could care less, man. Cut the fake shit out, man. Cut out, cut out all this selective outrage, man. Your bra strap is showing, man. Your panty line is showing right now, fam. Straight up and down. So that's what I think about this. When I heard Tim Bradley say that, I'm like, damn, that's mad disrespectful. You a, you a black man in America, lived your whole life in America, referring to another black man in America as a boy. And you know that that's what racist people, um, slave owners, um, people during the 40s, 50s, and 60s, that's what they used to call black men to denigrate them. You know that shit, and then you use that in the interview. All right, bro, that's mad disrespectful. That shit wrong. Meanwhile, just like it was wrong when people were calling Terrence Crawford top ranked Toby, that shit was wrong. That's why I say that shit wrong, and I don't use that shit. But I just find it funny that a lot of y'all won't do that. You got nothing to say about this. You 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 love what Tim Bradley told. Oh, he's shitting on Earl. He he letting Earl have it, which was all cap. Let's get to that next. So that's my take on that, bro. Like that term, man. Don't don't use that shit when you talking to me. That's the quickest way to get your ass blocked, and we don't even block people over here. And don't use that shit in my face, bro. Talking to me, I'm a grown ass man. You ain't gonna call me no boy in my face. Don't call me a boy. On social media, man. That's what I think of that shit. Now let's get to um, let's get to what he actually said. So he called Earl a liar. He said that Terrence Bud Crawford had twenty million for him. He said Terrence Crawford was his own own boss, and he said that Earl, since he fighting Keith at one fifty four, he ain't gonna come back down. Well, I watched Canelo come back down. I seen Manny Pacquiao go up, come down. I seen Floyd Mayweather come up, go down. I've seen most. I've seen Sugar Ray Leonard go through weight classes. Fighters throughout history have always gone up, come down. I've seen Roy Jones Jr. do it. So I don't know what the what. Why is everybody acting like Spence just can't come down to one forty seven? So that's that, right? But this 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 thing that that Spence lied, right? Lied about what exactly? See what Tim Bradley won't tell you is that Terrence Crawford is the one that pulled away from the negotiation table. And fought David Avenesia. He, he tried to throw it in there. I mean, Terrence had a fight, and then now you fighting Keith. Why did Terrence have a fight, though, Tim? Why did he have a fight? So you weren't mad at Terrence Crawford for fighting David Avenesia. I remember your comments. I remember your quotes. You were very, you were very like, ah, I don't know what happened. You know, he had to get his money. He doing this, he doing that. You didn't have any energy for Terrence Crawford. Pulling away from the table, having an offer to fight Spence, but then going to do something else. You didn't have no energy for him, but because Spence is fighting Keith Thurman because of Terrence Crawford, y'all keep trying to sweep that shit under the rug. He is fighting Keith Thurman because Terrence Crawford ducked him. You mad at Earl, though, and calling him a liar. And just like when we were talking about Tim Bradley a little bit yesterday, I had to think about the history of Tim Bradley and Earl Spence, and I remembered, bro. Tim Bradley ain't liked Earl Spence ever since Earl Spence said that he ducked him. Ever since Earl said that he ducked him, and that's when Tim Bradley started talking about that side of the street shit, because Earl had, was his mandatory, and then Tim Bradley saw Earl was his mandatory, then retired and shit. Tim Bradley ain't said, ain't said an objective positive word about Earl Spence since then, man. These dudes' agendas be showing like a motherfucker, man. Like, if you pay attention... You you will see that it be some personal vendetta hidden inside a lot of their words, bro. But I just I, I just don't understand the the lack of accountability that people put towards Terrence Crawford when you know the facts of the matter, bro. Like at the end of the day, what people can say is, "Oh, knockout, you're not in negotiations table." But at the negotiation table, but at the end of the day, a lot of you guys aren't either. What you might say is, "Well, knockout." You don't know for sure what they were offering and, and, and what what this person was offering. Okay, but the facts that we do know, bro, 
the facts that we do know we know that terrence was talking to pbc and blk prime at the same time that came out of his own mouth bro we know that we know that terrence crawford announced his fight for david avenesian in, in october 2022 and we know that earl ain't officially announced shit yet we know that after terrence crawford announced his fight with david avenesian that's when the WBC came and ordered Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman. We also know that after Terrence Crawford announced his fight with David Avenesian, that's when Earl Spence and his team went to the WBA to make sure that it was okay for them to fight Keith Thurman. We know that after Terrence Crawford fought David Avenesian, Earl Spence said, well, I'm about to make a fight announcement now. Stay tuned. I was going to announce it earlier, but I had the car accident. Everything that Earl has done has been a di direct result or been directly correlated with Terrence Boyd Crawford taking the Avenesian fight first. We would not be making these videos, bro. I would not be having to have this conversation with people if Terrence Boyd Crawford would have just signed the fight Earl in the first place. We know that he had an offer to fight Earl. We know that he could have signed the fight Earl instead of signing the fight David Avenesian. We know all of these things. Yet and still, people don't want to accept that fact. People don't want to admit that the man chose to fight Avenesian instead of Earl, and they put no smoke towards his way and give him no criticism, but yet and still give all this criticism to Earl Spence because he's fighting a fight that he had to fight because Terrence Crawford ducked him? Tim Bradley full of cap, bro. He full of cap, and he being disingenuous with this shit, man. And that boy shit... Look, man, you can't be doing that shit, bro. I like don't be calling nobody no no boy and shit. Top rank Toby shit. Don't be doing that shit. And you should be saying that both are wrong if you're keeping it real. You should be saying Tim Bradley was dead ass wrong for calling that man a boy and using that shit in this little interview or whatever. Cause he got so much hate in his heart towards Earl. And you need to also say that Colin Terrence called for top rank Toby is mad. But a lot of y'all people that was pissed off at the top rank Toby shit, you don't give a fuck about them calling Earl a boy. You got that selective ass fake ass outrage, man. And that shit we don't condone. We don't rock with over here. Y'all know how we give it up. We keep it all the way real. Both terms is bad. Both terms is wrong. But what's also wrong is everything uh, Tim Bradley said on top of all that shit. And we didn't even get to this 20 million. Bro, I really wish Tim Bradley, all you Terrence Crawford fans that come by the channel and try to hop on the live and get cooked on a weekly basis, Stop bringing up this $20 million to me, bro. This fake $20 million that the man couldn't even tell you where the money was coming from. Hell, not that he couldn't tell you. He couldn't even tell the people that he claimed to have the money for where the money was coming from. The best he could do is, oh, shit, man, meet, meet, meet up with me in person. I'll tell you where the money is coming from. Or B, hey, Al, they said they know you. Well, if they know me, who is it? What kind of shit is that? And then admit that he didn't tell them. By saying that, oh, yeah, man, you know, shit, you could have called my bluff, though. We could have met up. You could have called my bluff and see what I had. Like, bro, nobody doing business like that. Get that shit out of here, man. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit my email address up. Knockoutboxing86 at Yahoo.com is the email. Don't forget about our live shows. You can catch us live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And we also going to be live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.